Hi everyone, it's Joa from Special Heart Studio. In this video, I'm going to show the steps I took to assemble the graduation shadow box. Enjoy! So to start with this project, if you're going to put it in a shadow box, uh, you'll want to decide the size, of course, to cut. I'm going to leave this little, I don't know what you call it, frame insert in here. Um, so when I cut my project, you, of course you want the paper to fit. So this is just a hair over seven and a half inches. Um, I've played with this a couple times and know that a good setting to fit within this frame is uh, 7.53. Um, so I will put that in my width uh, in order to cut my project. So let's get started. Here you'll see that I use a brayer. Um, I use the Cricut one to put the paper down secure on my mat. I found that these cardstock projects really rip less if it's secured. Um, especially the dark colors, if you rub your hand across it, could get oil from your hand and the brayer really helps avoid that. I get a lot of questions of how do you get the cardstock off the mat without ripping it. So here I'm showing how instead of taking the cardstock off the mat, I like to take the mat off the cardstock. And what I mean by that, and you can see as I'm showing here, I lay the cardstock flat on my desk and then hold it down as flat as possible. So sometimes I use my hand, sometimes I use this ruler um, and peel the mat away from the cardstock. Um, this helps to keep the paper flat and I find that I have a lot less ripping uh, when I do it that way. For this project, you'll see that there's actually two different mortarboard graduation hats that will cut and a little tiny button. So uh, make sure that you cut both the hats. Um, they're saved on different layers and don't forget to grab the little oval button that will hold the cord, tassel cord onto the project. Okay, now that we've got the layers all cut. I will show you how I assemble this shadow box. Uh, first off, oh, I need a piece of paper. So I put two of the graduation caps, mortarboards, um, just because I like the depth and it matches this the one with the silverware layer and one with the blue layer in this case. So I tried to keep the number of paper layers the same. Um, so in the one on, I'm going to use Zots for these mortarboards uh, just because I like the depth more than the foam tabs. Um, it's personal preference. You could glue them, you could use the foam tabs, um, or try out these dots. The only thing about them is they're super sticky. So you're going to want to make sure that you have them uh, lined up the right way. They're, the hat is not symmetrical, so you have to make sure that you have it lined up the right way. Um, this is 
right way. Got some glitter. So these things are super sticky. I probably go overboard both with the dots and the foam tops. I'll make sure it's not coming apart, I guess. So we will try to get this even. There we go. That is the one good thing about the dots is they're repositional. So I found with the foam tab, the paper rips easier if you try to reposition. So I got this little piece of scrap paper here so that I don't get my little work surface sticky. I'm literally going to use school glue um, just because it dries pretty quick and it won't show along the outside. So I just line this up so that the little dot will be about in the middle of the hat. I'll push that down. And then hopefully by now you've not lost the little button that will go on the hat. And we'll take the foam tab. This might be too. No, that's too big. I also I have some of these from Michaels. Might be too big also. If you have this kind from Michaels, I pop the little dots out. I also cut this and use strips um, so as to not waste any of it. almost as big as the dot. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to see any white. Let's just take a sharpie. And color this in my fingers apparently. With all the nail salons closed, of course my nails are a mess. That's okay. Okay. And I will stick that right at the top of the cord tassel. There we go. Uh, I did that first so that it has a little bit of time to dry. We'll set it aside and work on the rest of the layers. So for this, I'm going to work from the bottom up. Um, like to lay them in order and then I'll start part putting some tabs. Um, these are my very favorite tabs from Tombow. Um, I've posted in my blog post the link to get these on Amazon. They're about three dollars and fifty cents in the US. Um, the Amazon title says that it's 50 tabs, but in reality, it's 50 large tabs, which are these half inch square ones. And then there are 414 of these small ones. Um, and I like the depth. They're not too thick and they're not too thin. They give a really good dimension. Uh, so we'll just stick, stick the bigger ones. Um, here. Uh, 
And I like to make sure that I have them around the edge well. Like I said, I may overdo it with the dots, or maybe I don't put as many as some people. I don't know. Okay. This first one is pretty easy. Of course, you don't have to match the direction. So what I have found the easiest way to do this is take off just a few of the backings towards the bottom or the top, whichever you're most comfortable with. And then actually probably did it backwards. I'll turn it upside down. So I line this up, make sure the sides are even, and then you can place it down. I just noticed I missed a place here, maybe. And then you can go back and peel the rest of these off. you ever bend your paper too much or kind of crease it when you're taking it off the mat, I have used my easy press to um, kind of iron it back flat. Just a little hint as I try to get these tabs off. do this again. Um, I end up turning it around so much. I like to make sure I have it lined up the right way. I do. So I just give this yet another go. Put two there this time. these get a little thinner, I um, have cut these in half. So of course the letters will be a focal point. So I want them all standing straight and not to get some of them pushed in and it, they don't look even. Um, so I will probably put a little tab on each of those letters.
Mm. Not that that's quite right. I'm still not happy with that. Best to try this one from the side just because the weight of the letters on the top and bottom. Um, and there's nothing in between, it kind of collapses it. That looks much better. And then we will attach. Uh, I'm going to attach the hat to the rest of the project with the dots. I really don't know if there's that much difference. It seems these things gooey gooey. Uh, I should put that down further. Oh well. I like that they're clear. Uh, so if someone's looking for the side from the side, you don't see them as much. And definitely if you're going to use LED lights in a shadow box, the zots are nice because of course the light will shine through. Look at the glitter on my hat. I'll place that there. I'm going to wipe this mat off because there's glitter on it. Anyway, looks great. Now let's get in the frame and see what we have going. That is going to be the bottom.
there you have it. Um, the SVG file, cut file, is free on my website. There will be a link below. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd show this video some love. Come visit my website and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting more and more tutorials. Thanks, everyone.